in the last sessions we discussed what are the tools we're going to use for a basket pole. Now we are discussing now how to create a basket pole. We have a box, a sphere. The sphere I'm giving 16 division, 16 division. You see the basketball lines goes both side and arc shapes here, right? So we are creating that convert to edit editable poly, delete half, delete half, select edge, except horizontal and vertical. We need to delete it. So before deleting, you can do one thing, cut tool we are using, cut, or you can use cut tool from here. From this point to this point, one, from this point to this point, one, do not do this one, okay? So only two will be one side. Do this. Then select edges, edges, this two, this one, this two, See, except horizontal, vertical, I selected everything. And do not delete it. Use it, right click and remove it. Then if you go to vertex, you can see some vertex will still go, you know, go, do not select like this. When you're selecting, there is chance to select something from here. So you can go to top view if you want, it's very easy. Select this one and, sorry, this all. And this all. Right click, remove it. Then you select this all, scale tool, scale inside. Go to front view. Then you see the shapes comes like this. I'm selecting this two, hold the control button and select it and move up. And this two, move up. So make an arc shapes over here. An arc shape. Then use symmetry modifier, symmetry modifier. X or Y or Z you see. Why are you using symmetry instead of mirror? Because the joining, the joining area will not be visible. If you use mirror, the joining area, you can see a sharp line. The next one after doing this, convert editable poly, use, Turbo smooth option. We need smooth with the divisions. Convert to editable poly. Select the center line and this line. And from here. So if you do this too, when you do loop, you understand why you have to choose that too. Next one from here, I count it one, two here. And from here, one, two here. Then if you loop it, we got selection like this. Then do camphor option. Camphor option then you see how much width if you want for the line. Remember the value, it would be easy for you to do next time. Almost eight, I do it. Okay. Then you're going to select these four edges and these four edges, this also. And then do loop again, loop again. So, before this four were not selected. So when, that's the reason I deselect it and do it again, this four, 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 this, this all edges, this four, this four, this four, then I do loop. I got mistake here. Yeah, this four, okay. This four, here and here. So you have to ensure after doing this, uh, you do loop. See, check from here all, all the lines, see something happened here. So I'm gonna choose, I missed this one. Ensure the lines is perfectly comes from top to bottom. If all okay, do one more. Yeah, one point. Before doing this, select and give a material. Later it will be difficult to give a material. I already given a color, assign it. Okay, or new one, you assign it and choose a color from here diffuse. Then again, go back to edges. You see, if you selected the edges, that selection will stay there. Do this, then do camphor. A small one. Okay, small one. So, smaller, smaller. Okay. 
Now, we selecting this sender for and do do loop. Convert this edges edge selection to face selection. Then you click on shrink. So it's selected only inside. Then you can click extrude option to local normal. Then this one should be little bit here. Zoom and see. Then you can do plus one or two times and it will become sharp lines. Do not remove that selection. Yeah, I lost the one, the last one, okay. Then now I'm giving directly material, do the next material, assign, and do a little bit glossy. Because it's difficult to select again. That's the reason first itself I have given that material. Then usually what we do after all modeling, we will use mesh smooth to get it, the final result. So we use the same thing. Here before we use turbo smooth to make divisions with smooth divisions and smooth uh, object is ready and there is an advanced option over here in this one when you want to go to maps and all we're going to do some bum mapping when you click over here you can create some cellular kind of a shapes so you see here get this kind of an object and go back and uh, you render F9, then only you will see what is the result you're gonna get. It's very bigger now. So you see when you go inside this map, you can see here tiling, I'm gonna make it to 10 and 10. And let me render and check, still it's bigger. I do 40 and 40 and 40, everywhere, okay, X, Y, Z. F9 and render, it's still 20 is enough, 20, 20, 20. F9, better. Can you see? The detail comes on it. If you want 25, 25, 25, F9. This detail, if you want to add it, you can go back and there is an option of your bum mapping. This you can increase it. When you increase it, this detail will be visible more. So you can go to 55 or 60 maximum. I think 50 or 40 is enough. 40, and then you see the result. Okay. So the last portion, what I discussed now about material, if you're facing any difficulties, you can ignore it. Okay. That's an advanced session. We are studying modeling only now, but as part of when I'm creating this basketball, so you, everybody have a doubt that how can I get the detail? That's it. But if you render F9, then only you will be able to see the final result and if you given one time material anytime you can come back to your material and change this color anytime you can change it to any other color also can be possible so this is the way you create basketball this is the way you create material remember first you give a material on it okay first you need to give a material otherwise it will be difficult to select both right practice this one